Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Just an update here on uh, Tilray. Uh, I couldn't get Tilray to uh, come up here on uh, Robinhood for some reason, um, but I still have a couple shares um, in uh, Robinhood. I made a couple videos about uh, Tilray in the past, uh, so we'll just skip Robinhood for now. Uh, but as you can see, uh, right now it's uh, trading at $13.54. Here's a look at the last year over uh, Tilray. Could have got into it at $5, $4 back here in uh, September. And it's kind of had a nice run up through January. A great run up here through uh, February 10th, along with a lot of the other MJ stocks. And then it's just kind of came down ever since then. Uh, but currently trading at $13.54. Here's a look at the last three months. So $12, $16 range, and then down to where it is now. And here's a look at the last week. So $12 on up to uh, where it is now. So and here's a look at today. So just been trading kind of flat again to here today. Tilray purchase of MedMen's convertible debt uh, gives it a toehold into the United States THC at a good price. Tilray is a Canadian uh, producer that cultivates and sells medical and recreational MJ. In 2021, Legacy Afria acquired Legacy, uh, which I've talked about numerous times here on the uh, channel. Tilray in a reverse merger and renamed itself Tilray. The bulk of its sales are in Canada and international medical MJ export market. U.S. exposure consists of CBD products through Manitoba Harvest and Beer Through Sweetwater, uh, which I've talked about. So again, uh, Manitoba Harvest and uh, Beer Through Sweetwater, which I've uh, talked about on uh, previous videos about uh, Tilray, uh, should also be a good catalyst uh, for this particular stock. Why Tilray Bear could uh, go up in smoke if history repeats. And this is a couple days old, uh, dated back on the uh, 18th. So Tilray gapped over 5% higher on Wednesday before dropping down to fill the area and bouncing. After the markets closed on uh, Tuesday, the MJ Giant announced it had acquired a majority stake in amended uh, MedMen. And I've talked about them on the channel here as well in the uh, past. Uh, convertible notes for about $165.8 million. Mergers and acquisitions may be the topic of conversation for a while as the leaders in the sector take out the smaller companies in preparation to dominate the United States industry in the country if the country moves forward with uh, federal legalization. In April, uh, Canopy Growth, a main competitor of Tilray, purchased Supreme MJ Company in a $345.7 million deal to boost its portfolio and strengthen its cultivation capacity. And since this is a little bit older information, just going to slowly scroll through for those of you that would like to uh, finish reading that article, or else you can go straight to the source on Yahoo Finance. Why Tilray stock rose today, and again this is uh, dated uh, back on the 18th. So kind of some of the same information talking about the uh, purchase of MedMen. Uh, by trading uh, Tilray stock, a price was up 1.1% after rising as much as 7.2% earlier in the day. And so again, it talks about the uh, deal could position Tilray to uh, quickly enter the United States market should federal legalization uh, progress. Uh, so we'll see uh, when that happens. Uh, it's not... If I keep saying it, it's going to be when it um, goes through the uh, federal legalization. So it's in the process. There's already a couple states getting there. So on the uh, federal level, across the board, it's just a matter of time. So uh, Tilray has, a founder, has found a partner for its expansion into the U.S. MJ market. And this is just dated uh, nine hours ago. The U.S. MJ market remains illegal and off limits to Canada MJ producers, although states uh, continue to pass legislation related to MJ use. Federally, nothing has changed. There is hope that there will be some reform coming soon, especially now that the Democrats control the House and the Senate. But outright legalization is by no means a guarantee. 
The president hasn't uh, suggested that legalization is a pressing item to its agenda. However, that hasn't stopped uh, Canadian-based MJ companies from preparing for it themselves. For the moment, the market opens. Canopy Growth has a deal in place with Acreage Holdings since uh, 2019, and to compete it, uh, given the ban on MJ, uh, Tilray made headlines last week when it announced that it had found a partner south of the border, Medmen. And so it's all kind of a race to become the biggest. Uh, so when uh, federal legalization happens, uh, these are just going to explode. So Tilray has a lot of potential in the United States if the United States legalizes MJ. And this is just dated here today. Uh, while Canada becoming the first G7 nation to legalize recreational MJ represented a, that should probably be a boom instead of a boon, for MJ uh, firms like uh, Tilray, a long-term goal has been uh, breaking into the United States. Uh, let's face the facts, with a population of under 38 million, Canada just doesn't have the economic clout that uh, stakeholders of Tilray stock are looking for. With one uh, fell swoop, the United States uh, could essentially become the mecca of the botanical industry. Currently, under the Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018, hemp-based products like cannabis oil, CBD, are legal because they contain only a trace amount of uh, tetracannabinoil at maximum. CBD doesn't fall under federal restrictions. Then again, uh, because it doesn't give you a high Many botanical connoisseurs don't uh, consider CBD to be the real deal. They puts a damper on the Tilray stock. Seemingly, uh, management understands this, that uh, probably at least part of the reason why Tilray pursued a complicated deal to acquire convertible debt for MJ retailer Medman because MJ is illegal at the federal level. Tilray can fully acquire Medman until there is a breakthrough and moving on over here to uh, reddit and if you have any other information about uh, legalization you can go ahead and put that in the uh, comments uh, nothing really here on reddit moving over here to uh, stock twits currently at thirteen dollars and fifty four cents low of 441 high of sixty seven dollars uh, with eleven point three two million average shares being traded Don't know what this, don't know what that one is. Tilray, I think no one likes it, even bears. However, we are lucky ones to have to hold it. So many bears on this board. And bankruptcy. Not really any information in there other than talking about bulls over here on uh, tip ranks currently at $13.54 showing a moderate buy out of uh, 10, 4 showing a buy, 6 at a hold with a 42% upside to $19.33 high of 27 low of $13.43 uh, but like I said if you have a uh, Tilray go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis any other information that you might have on uh, Tilray uh, that we can share or any other favorite MJ plays. I'd be happy to take a look at those as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribe in and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.